I'm walking to the grocery store and I had this idea for my book. I'm writing it on a software called Scrivener on my Mac. And here's the problem. There's no Scrivener for Android, but I'm an Android user. And what I'm going to do is write this idea in a note uh, inside a folder, a notes folder on Obsidian, and it will be automatically synchronized with my Mac. No plugins involved. <laughs> Give me a moment. When I get home, I'll show you how it works. Okay, here I am at my desk. Let me show you how I set this up, how it works. The first thing I'm going to do here is create a new folder. Let's call it my book. My book. Inside this folder, I'm going to create Markdown. And the other one is Scrivener. Now let's go to Scrivener. File, new project. Let's choose blank, create my book, and I'm saving this inside the Scrivener subfolder we just created. If we go back to my folders, here it is. You don't have to use this same name scheme. It, this is just what works for me. You soon understand why I'm doing this. So I created here some chapters to illustrate my idea. If you're not a Scrivener user, don't worry about these details. Just pay attention to the big picture. You can use this in so many other situations. As long as the software is saving files inside a folder on your computer, this will work. So. Uh, Scrivener has the chapters of the book inside this folder that is titled Draft, and there is also this other folder here that is titled Research. Here I can create, this, this is the way I use it. Each person uses Scrivener in a different way. So what I do here is create, add ideas to this other folder idea number one, for example. So I can take notes here, and if in the future I want to use this, I can copy and paste this to a chapter or convert this into a chapter, just dragging it to the other uh, folder. Let's move it back to research because I need this to show you what I did. All this structure is not visible. It's all inside that file we just created, the my book file. However, Scrivener has a feature that let us synchronize this with a folder in our computer. As far as I understand, the goal of this feature is to allow us to synchronize the book with, uh, let's say, Dropbox and use it on another computer. I did this back in 2012 when I wrote my first book. I synchronized it with my iPad. I don't remember the software I was using on, on the iPad, the app, but it was something that could read from Dropbox. Okay, let's set this up. The first thing I'm gonna do is choose a folder. For this, I'm gonna use the Markdown subfolder. As you can see here, the book file is here, my book, but for the synchronization, I'm gonna use the Markdown subfolder, okay? Now I'm gonna leave all this checked and I'm gonna also check this one here because this will open this other option here and it says import new non-draft items to research. I'm gonna let it like this and here I'm gonna change this to plain text, plain text and the extension markdown, markdown. Can you see where I'm going with this here? <laughs> so now I'm gonna click here and synchronize. Some of you might have already noticed it, the folders I created were inside my Obsidian Vault. So I'm synchronizing these files with Obsidian. Now let's go to Obsidian, of course. Here we have it, my book. The folder, inside it I have the Scrivener folder. This is where the file is, the book file is. I'm not touching this. But here I have the Markdown folder that has the book structure in it. 
Scrivener is synchronizing that structure with this folder. And I have here both subfolders. The draft one is the book. If we go to intro, I have here hello world. And if I do something like this, hi, this is a test. And if I go to notes and I create a new note here, new idea number two, let's do this and go back to Scrivener. Every time you open or close a project, a Scrivener project, it will synchronize the folders, but you can also force it to synchronize. Just go to files, sync, synchronize now, and that's it. Everything we wrote there, number two, idea number two, and the information I added to the chapter is here. So what I have here now is a workflow that will allow me to work from my computer. All I have to do is open the Scrivener app and work on that book. And when I'm out of the office and I have an idea, I can open the research folder and type that idea there right from Obsidian. And there is a third situation that I don't plan to, to use, but it's here. I can go to the drafts folder here in Obsidian and work on a chapter on my phone. I, I, I don't plan to do that, but it's here, it's available. As for the project file, the one I titled my book, there's no need to keep it inside uh, the Obsidian file structure in order for this to work. All we need here are the, the, the synchronized files. I did that because it's something I've been doing a lot. I've been moving a lot of files that I use on my multiple computers to the Obsidian file structure. For example, uh, templates for the videos, uh, image templates, uh, things that I upload to YouTube when I'm uploading a video, they're all inside that file structure because it's already synchronizing. I have that in all my computers, it's easier. I'm gradually replacing iCloud and Google Drive with the Obsidian file structure, but I'm getting ahead of myself here. This is a topic for another video. If you enjoyed this one, if it was helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you wanna watch another unexpected workflows, take a look at this playlist. And if you wanna help even more, please consider becoming a Patreon or a YouTube member. You can also buy me a coffee. Thanks for watching. See you soon.